Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Veronica and for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit of um, basically giving you guys tips on how to grow closer to Christ and by all means that does not mean that I follow all these tips because I'm actually doing this video to um, basically put it out there and to find myself accountable for doing this stuff because I'm not um, doing all of it as much as I should be doing it and I've been feeling distant from God lately and I just wanted to share with you guys the tips that I'm, I, I have for myself and how I'm gonna, going to grow closer to Christ. And um, basically um, in the Bible, um, James 4, 8, it says, come near to God and he will come near to you. If you are not in the prayer closet on a daily basis, if you are not reading your word daily which is bread which is food for your soul and water that you're thirsting for on a daily basis if you're not in the word then you're not going to get closer to christ if you are not praying you're not going to hear his voice if you are not meditating on his word again you're not going to get closer to christ and Sometimes I feel that we think, and this is me included, that we think by praying while we're washing dishes or praying while we're driving in the car, which is all great. Definitely continue to do that. But we don't devote a certain amount of time to God in our day-to-day -day life because we are too busy. Um, and the reason that I'm using these air quotations is because I've used that excuse. Oh, I'm too busy. I'm cleaning the house. I'm taking care of the baby. I'm picking up my son from school and I'm doing certain things. I'm too busy for that. But I find myself that I'm not too busy to be on social media. I'm not too busy to be editing my videos. I'm not too busy to be talking to my friends online. And I'm not too busy to be doing other stuff that I it's not a necessity in my life you know what i mean so how am i expecting to hear christ's voice get closer to him and and do all that while i am not in the bible as much as i should be i'm not dedicating a certain time for prayer i'm praying at the middle of the night like when i'm falling asleep and in the morning while I'm driving, taking my son to school. You know what I mean? I should take some time, and this is advice that hopefully you guys will, you know, want to take as well, is we should take some time to literally schedule a time in your, in your schedule or calendar or whatever for Christ, for God to meditate on his word, to read his word, to pray in the prayer closet, to worship him because he is worthy of worship and not of us leaving him to the last minute so that is my tips for for you guys is to be on his word daily uh, maybe get a daily devotional that you can read and luckily i do have my um sister in christ that actually sends me a daily devotional to my phone so i'm able to read that and um those are always awesome if you have friends or um, anyone that's with your church or anything like that. If you have anybody around in your church that sends so devotionals, definitely sign up for that because I know certain churches have that, that you can sign up with a phone number and they'll send you a daily devotional. Also, another thing is you can um, get the Bible app. And on the Bible app, they have daily devotionals and even personal devotionals that you can read of your struggles or anything that you're going through. So that's definitely another tip that you guys should definitely get into. And um, I did write some stuff down just so I wouldn't forget because this is this video is so last minute. I was just thinking about it yesterday I was as I was praying, God, why can't I hear your voice? God, why am I feeling so distanced from you? And God was like literally putting my head, well, have you been praying? No. Have you been reading my word? No. Have you been, you know, praising me or giving me praise for the stuff that you have? All I've been thinking of is stuff that I don't have and not thanking him for the stuff that I do have and the things that he's given me, a roof over my head, 
food on the table, money to pay the rent. You know what I mean? Just like I've been so focused on all the stuff that is going wrong that I'm not thankful for the stuff that is going right, such as health. I'm healthy. My baby is healthy. My son is healthy. My um, husband is healthy. He has a job. We, you know, he can support us. Just things like that. How are you going to ever get close to Christ if all you're doing is thinking of all the negative and never praising him for, for the good that he's doing in your life. You know what I mean? Um, so I did mention you guys finding a quiet space. So definitely devote yourself at least an hour a day, 30 minutes a day. You have time to go to the gym. You have time to be on social media. That time that you have for the gym or social media, how about changing it and dedicating it to to God and um, praying in the prayer closet or praising him, singing music and dancing to his to the music or, or something like that. You know what I mean? Throughout the day, which my husband was actually telling me that he wants us to start on Saturdays and Sundays because, you know, he's working Monday through Friday, turning on our Christian music and starting to praise him and just worship him in the mornings. So that's something really beautiful that he wants us to do. Another advice that if you are married or if you have a boyfriend and you guys are both, um, Christian, I would advise you guys to pray together. That's definitely another way to get closer because, and, um, another thing that I wrote down here is Jeremiah 29, 12, then you will call on me and come and, and pray to me and I will listen to you. So basically he's telling you, you come to me, you pray to me, you give me the time and I will listen to you. And, um, that's definitely just tips that I give you. If, if you have, um, Christian friends or maybe getting closer to um, more godly people will definitely encourage you to keep going on your walk with Christ and to hear him um, more often as well, just to keep accountable, to talk to somebody, tell them how you're feeling about how you're feeling distant or how you're feeling close to God or whatever's going on in your life. That way they could encourage you and keep you moving in your faith and not distance you because i know we have worldly friends and that's perfectly okay to have you you're okay to be friends with people that are not christian but that could also move you away towards um more of a worldly view and, and less of a christian aspect of life and it could pull you away from the word and stuff like that so i would definitely advise you to find more uh fellow christian friends that you can talk to on a daily basis and maybe um, send encouraging words and uh, verses to each other that's definitely another thing that's been working for me because like i said i do have a sister in christ which is my pastor's wife she does send uh, de devotionals all the time so that definitely helps me stay more in the word and feeling closer to to him as well and um Last but not least, I did want to mention this because I feel like I grieve the Holy Spirit a lot. There's been instances that I feel a pull that God is telling me to do something. Let me give you an example. Um, a couple of months ago, I was at Target and there was this lady next to me that she was like scrambling to, to find the money to buy her the kids stuff and she only spoke spanish and i speak spanish so i could just tell that she was struggling and something inside of me which i know was the holy spirit was telling me pay for her for her um items it wasn't even that much of the stuff that she had pay for her items talk to her in spanish tell her about christ you know i just i kept feeling it and feeling it and feeling this feeling like tell her about christ tell her that he's paying for it pay for her stuff and i just felt this feeling to tell her and I grieved it. I was like, no, they're gonna look at me weird. People are gonna say stuff and I just pushed it off, pushed it off. When I was driving away, I was like literally in tears because I felt so bad that I, how about if they didn't know about Christ and that was the opportunity God wanted me to speak to them and change the life. How about if that one little thing would have transformed their life, you know? And I didn't do it. And the more that I do that, I've been, I've had so many instances that that stuff has happened to me. One time, um, this homeless girl complimented me on my shoes and 
I felt this need to take off your shoes and give it to her, ask her if they're her size. I didn't do it. Again, because I felt weird doing it. You know what I mean? My husband, on the other hand, he does stuff like that. If he feels it, he'll do it. And, you know, I don't. I really, really suppress the Holy Spirit. I do not do what God tells me to do. And that is my main goal is to get on his word, get in prayer, get closer to him. And when he does call me in those opportunities to be bold enough and brave enough to do it. And I feel that that would definitely bring me closer to Christ because that, and that's me being obedient. And right now I'm not being obedient to him. Right now, me doing this video, it is me being obedient to him because I felt this last night while I was praying that maybe I should do something about this and what I'm going through and what I'm planning to do and the ways that I'm going to get closer to him and the tips that I have. I, I felt him telling me that while, as I was praying. So by me doing that i am being obedient to his word and this might not be a cool video to post or you know some people are gonna be like blah 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 Let's fast forward but if he told me to do it then he told me to do it and i'm literally just scrambling things that i was thinking about yesterday i kind of wrote some stuff down but not really i just wanted to just basically let it be true and just let it be how how i was feeling it and what was coming to my head and um but i'm hoping that i keep hearing more of his voice as i pray and i keep hearing that and that way i can let you guys know the things that are coming up i don't know if maybe to use this as my little journal type of thing but um definitely like i said i'm not gonna I'm going to try my hardest not to suppress the Holy Spirit and do things as he tells me to do it. That way I can feel his presence more. Um, but yeah, guys, that is my little tips and my little spiel for the day of how I was feeling. And I hope this has helped somebody. I hope that you guys are able to find that quiet place and get closer to God. Leave social media for another day or for another minute or for... 20 30 minutes after you're you're done praying and doing what you need to do first and then you can do and go on with your life um and like i said it's not bad if you pray during like driving to school the kids to school or praying while you're doing dishes or listening to the bible app while you're doing stuff because i do that as well but it, it would be a lot better for your walk if you could actually sit down and read it. And I'm not saying this because I do this on a daily basis. I'm saying it for me as well. To get closer to Christ, that's the only way to do it is to be in his word, to be praying and asking. Seek and you shall find. Ask and you shall receive. And it's not about materialistic things, guys, that he's saying that. It's about spiritual stuff. So don't be fooled with all the people saying that, oh, seek money and it'll come to you. Seek this and it'll come to you. No, it's about spiritual things that you're seeking and it's whatever God's will is for you that he will give you. So that's another thing. I just wanted to put that out there. But anyways, this video is getting way too long for it being just such a last minute thing. And I'm just going to post it how it is. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video.